Can this really be happening? Jackie Moon finally made it to the All-Star break? <laughs> yes, sir. Here we are with the rookie versus sophomore game to kick off the All-Star festivities in LA, playing on the rookie team starting at small forward as you know we all would expect with Jackie Moon. And this is just cruel and unusual punishment, forcing <laughs> Hashim to beat to play the center here. All he's good for is winning the jump ball and then getting dunked on really at that point. I feel bad for this roster for the sophomores because it is just overmatched. I mean, look at this rookie class out here. I mean, I would have made a couple of changes, but overall, you got some studs out here, and Jackie Moon is just getting better and better every day. And speaking of which, I'll be showing my updated attributes here after the next game. I've been playing a lot of games, and I've made a lot of improvements across the board for Jackie, so that'll be interesting to see. But right there, Terrence Williams misses a tough drifting shot. I'm leaking out. Good outlet pass. I'm throwing it down with a one-handed tomahawk. And these games, you know, there isn't much defense. That's a well-known fact across the NBA. Probably one of the more boring all-star games across all of sports because it doesn't really mean much and everybody just kind of goofs around. We will actually run some plays in this, which I was shocked to see. But overall, you're just going to see a lot of me goofing around and taking a lot of shots as I hit a nice little step back there over Tyreek Evans. A design play here, though. Catching and shooting. Showing off the new jump shots. Uh, I guess the first person who can guess it, uh, you know, they'll get an E high five from me because uh, that was one of the recommendations on Facebook. I tested them all out. And I actually tried out that jump shot in 2K10, whoever, you know, actually names it. And I didn't really uh, enjoy it as much. I didn't think it was too true to form, but it's a lot better this year. And I really enjoy using it so far. It's a very high rainbow looking shot. Kind of fun to watch from my camera angle. But right here, John Wall gets a steal. I'm leaking out once again, showing off another flashy dunk there. Jackie Moon with some specialty dunks here. Not a true dunk package, but uh, just showing off these, you know, commonly known specialty dunks. It's nice to see him getting a little bit better uh, up in the air because I've had for the longest time about 60 dunk rating as Jonas Rebko gets a nice feed here from Terrence Williams and he's throwing it down with a reverse flush. Gotta love JJ. <laughs> One more time, pump faking DeMarcus Cousins and throwing it down in my face. Come on, Jonas. Why did it have to be like that? <laughs> but right here, I'm worried about Jonas one more time, but it's going to be Tyreek Evans in the lane with a hop step layup and one, drawing a foul from his own teammate there. Not sure if there was any bad blood between the two of them before that shot, but uh, who knows, there might be some moving forward. And that is just a tough shot there by Terrence Williams, out-muscling DeMarcus Cousins down low. And right here, this play really isn't working too well, so I go ahead and make something out of nothing here by calling for the ball and wetting a triple from the corner with the assist from John Wall. Jackie Moon is lighting it up early. And strangely enough, this game is actually extremely relevant to what's going on in the NBA this week, as we all know, with a lot of these players being big-time prospects over the past two years, or at least most of them. We have the NBA draft this week. We're essentially on the eve of the draft. That'll be taking place on Thursday evening. But I really can't remember a draft that is going to be so uncertain, uh, in at least my memory. I mean, there's just not too many, you know, can't-miss prospects. I mean, there are a lot of prospects that are going to be Big time projects and a lot of foreign players that I can guarantee I'll be butchering their names for years to come while I play 2K and continue to commentate these games. But, you know, it could be a very interesting draft. I'm always really excited for these drafts, and, and it doesn't really matter who's being drafted. I just get really pumped up. Uh, I hope you guys are really excited for it. I'll be watching it for sure as I get an oop here from John Wall calling for the ball. Just throwing that one up and in with the left hand, almost at my head on the backboard there. But anyway, let's get back to the topic of the draft real quick. I'm just kind of curious to see what you guys are thinking uh, as far as how things are going to unfold on draft night. Uh, you can go ahead and give me a mock draft of the top 10 or 15 picks if you want, or if you just want to give me your team's draft pick and who you think they'll be taking. That'd be cool. I'd just like to see what you guys are thinking and you know where all the rumor mills going these days with all of you uh, big-time fans out there of your current NBA teams. Because, let's face it, unless you are a fan of a team that resides in Boston, New York, Chicago, L.A., or Miami, there's a good chance you're only going to get a superstar player from the draft uh, because there is just no superstar player out there that will go to a small market team. Just given the fact that it's a small market, they want the big media, and that's unfortunate. But that's what makes the draft so important. Even in a weak class like this year's class, uh, could be a very interesting draft nonetheless. So I'll be there on draft night just like the rest of you, rooting for your team in the draft. And uh, probably be on Facebook and Twitter with Jake, just responding and reacting to all of the draft picks as they occur. So feel free to join us. But uh, I'll get back to the gameplay here. I'm sorry. I love talking about the draft, whether it's NBA or NFL. Uh, I just find them very interesting. Heck, I'll even watch some of the baseball draft. Just kidding. That's not happening. Anyway, I did call for the zoop, and that was Evan Turner with a lob and Jackie Moon with a two-handed finish there. 
But Evan Turner will take a tough shot right here. Terrence Williams will get the rebound, and who do you know is running down the court? That's Mr. Tyreek Evans with a tough little layup in traffic there. Not giving up, even though his team is down quite a bit here, as I just continue to have a very big game. But I keep mocking the beat, but he will play some good defense here. Blocking Cousins. I grab this ball, trying to kick it back out and reset real quick, but I'm forced into a tough shot here. Out of the post, little contested jump shot, getting knocked down. Like I said, just stepping up on the big stage here is Jackie Moon. One more time, same play. That's Cousins missing, but I'm tipping that one up and in. No tip slam yet. <laughs> but honestly, I don't know if I'm going to get one because we are making a lot of shots. And to be quite honest, I am taking a lot myself as I drain another triple there. Just really uh, putting this new jumper to work because I'm double teamed right here. Some good ball movement. John Wall getting muscled up here, but he's throwing down a beautiful step back for his only bucket of the game. Just rolling that one in. But that's all right because we are dominating and that's a tough shot there by Williams. And who do you know is running the flow hard? That'd be Jackie Moon. Tyreek's in my way. Muscling me up. I will miss that shot, but I get my own rebound. Another just kind of strange offensive rebound. I've had quite a few this game, but I uh, did get that one to go up and in. Jarebko's back in the game. It doesn't matter. I reject Collison. Running the floor hard for the ugliest dunk animation in the game. <laughs> Gotta remember to take this one off. It is so fake looking. Just like you pick up speed when you throw it down. I don't know. Uh, just not looking good, but another good move here. Jarebko playing defense. I'm hitting him with a step back there. Contested jump shot. Swishing that one. Jackie Moon is just firing on all cylinders. One more time, design play with a mid-range jump shot this time. That one goes in. And at this point, Kevin Durant should be worried. I'm about to break his rookie versus sophomore scoring record of 46 as Jonas. It's a tough shot. I mean, how can you not love Jonas Derebko? <laughs> and right here, I'm getting bailed out. Lost my dribble. Kick it inside to Cousins at the last second. He's going to drain a shot out of the post to give me an assist as the shot clock is winding down. Another tough shot right here from Marcus Thornton. That'd be Demarcus Cousins with the block. I've got the ball. I see a hustling Wesley Johnson lobbing it up. Thank you, sir, for throwing that down. I figured it was about time I returned the favor because I've been using his dunk package for... God knows how long, but I have 47 points. I've broken the record here, and I'm trying to get greedy to set it at 50 points. <laughs> That's how I play with Jackie Moon at times, because he is an arrogant SOB. <laughs> but uh, that was uh, kind of a fun way to end the game. I did set the record with 47 points. Very efficient game, and I kind of just goofed around all game, which was fun to see. And I did get player of the game, obviously. Some good skill points there. And there's some good news out of this as we watch... Uh, a few highlights from Jackie Moon as player of the game. Uh, and that would be that Jackie Moon is not only here for the rookie versus sophomore game, he made the all-star team almost beat out LeBron James in all-star voting. But either way, I am just happy to be in the all-star game. I'll be coming off the bench uh, as a first replacement forward, I believe. Uh, and just a little bit of news as well with the Hawks. We traded Jamal Crawford for Steven Jackson. He's also on my team now, and he's also an all-star. We actually have as many All-Stars on the East team as the Miami Heat do because we have Josh Smith, Jackie Moon, and Steven Jackson. So it's going to be a fun ride to the playoffs here as we now have a completely unfair starting five. Well, I guess I can't really say that because Mike Bibby still technically starts, but he plays like one or two minutes a game. It's not even funny. Uh, but obviously we've got Joe Johnson at the one that way with Steven Jackson at two, and then the rest is the same as normal. It's just really unfair because everyone is 6'8 or taller. But here are the stats. I wasn't the only one who had a good game. Wes Johnson with 20 points in 23 minutes. Uh, just a really fun game. I love this All-Star Weekend and that I can actually just act like an idiot and uh, not take any flack for it while I make videos. But that's it, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching and have a good one.